I want you to find your peace. But the good death only comes after a good life. You and I left a good life behind a long time ago, my friend. Let's go You're watching Black Tree on TV. How you doing, my friend? I'm well. How are you today, sir? Man, I'm good. I'm good. So back at it, back at it again. Number yes, four. Yes, yes, not just back at it, but like going for it. I mean, it's pretty. It's a big uh, action movie feast. I think. Nah, it's, it's huge. But thank you for that. Yeah. But yeah, I will. Man. I will ask you this though: What's harder to memorize for you, the dialogue, or what you have to memorize for your action sequences? Uh, I. Th they're different. They're different. Yeah, they're they're very different. Um, harder. Uh. I don't know, they're, I don't know, I don't, I would say perhaps maybe the action in certain moments because we make so much on the day, so you're not really, you're, you're more playing with flow than you are with memorization, if that makes any sense, like, for me, in a way, you have to do the training and then let it go, and then when you do it on the day, you, you're not getting to practice any particular move. You have to have your pa previous training play out in that moment. And so that, that sometimes is like, ah, we need to do it again. And I'll ask you this, this is sort of like a wardrobe question, because I know a lot of times I have to wear a suit to go to different events or award shows. Sure. And sometimes it's problematic just bending over to tie my shoe. <laughs> How do you do all this stuff you do in, in a well-tailored suit? Yeah. How I've, does that work? How do they, how do they design I've got it for fight you? suits. I've got fight suits. Yeah, so sometimes there's a little more room in the leg. Maybe the jacket's just a little bit bigger. Um, sometimes they put some stretchier fabric in the back panel. Um, and then if I'm wearing pads, you know, I have to give a little more room. Do you dread the preparation time that you need no. leading up to each film? And no. what do you do to get ready for it? I love it. I love it. No, I love the training. I love the training. Because I'm getting to learn new things. I'm getting to try and get better at what I do know. Um, and then I'm interacting with, you know, masters at what they do. Like I worked with uh, Dave Camarillo, who's a very high judica and jiu-jitsu practitioner. And, um, so I'm getting to, to, to train with masters, you know, with people who are great at what they do and, uh, and who are, you know, cool people. So the training is actually a really, a, a really pleasurable part so the of it. So the training is the bonus of you leading up to prepare for each film? I have a lot of bonuses in, in John. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a lot of bonuses. I yeah. appreciate the honesty, but that's yeah. the top. That's the top bonus of all the. Bonuses. No, no, yeah, no, no. The best part is be. The best part is after Chad Stahelski, the director, says action, because once he says action, it's like game on. Okay. That's the best, and when okay. that goes well, ah, it's the best. All right, here's this final question I have for you because it's, okay. it's 2023. 2023. And 2023 is the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Oh, wow. And so The Matrix has been name checked in like a gazillion rap songs. And I wanted to find out do you find that fascinating that the hip hop culture has gravitated so much toward The Matrix and its ideology? Not surprising. Not surprising. But uh, grateful, you know, that idea of. I mean, there's so much that's cool about what the Wachowskis did in The Matrix, you know? Um, the ideas, question and reality, connection, um, and revolution, and community, you know? There's, I think, for all cultures, all places, but I think The Matrix speaks to humanity, you know? So, to be, if you're if you're gonna put in the context of that kind of, of being embraced like that, then um, awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. See, great answer, my yeah, friend. No, Thank no, you very much. No.